Back here in Seoul, the National Museum of Korea is showcasing a rare exhibition of Korea Celadon, including 20 state selected treasures. Our Ian Jin has a glimpse. The lion crouches on the incense burner with its mouth open as if to catch prey at any moment. An imaginary fish shaped dragon shows its lively wings and scales ready to soar out of the water. Each lotus leaf embraces the entire gourd shaped ear in a beautiful and balanced design. Of all the Goryeo Celadon, these sculpted pieces showcase the lively ceramic depictions made by modeling specific forms like lions, ducks, fish, melons, and bamboo shoots. The shapes are complex yet lively, and the aesthetic completeness is exquisite. The celadon making techniques unique to the Goryeo period were based on Chinese processes and the earthenware of the Three Kingdoms and the unified Silla periods. Embracing and accepting new things to make new creative transformations. That is the important significance behind Goryeo celadon, which has become a source of cultural inspiration and life for us today. Until now, most of the production techniques of Goryeo celadon pieces have been hidden. Over the past two years, the National Museum of Korea has identified specific production processes through actual measurements and computed tomography. In studying the Celadon, we took the eye for aesthetics with importance, but in this exhibition we were able to show scientific data and images based on scientific analysis. To commemorate this, an exhibition is being held for the first time, showcasing over 270 Goryeo Celadon pieces, including 20 state-designated national treasures. Beyond displaying the beauty of the simplicity of the Celadon, the exhibition will give a glimpse of the manufacturing techniques of hieroglyphic Celadon and the life and culture of the Goryeo people. The exhibition will run until March of next year. Yoon Jin, Arirang News.